March 4th, The Salvation Boat, Exodus chapter 2, verse 3. But when she could no longer hide him, she took an ark of bulrushes for him, daubed it with asphalt and pitch, put the child in it, and laid it in the reeds by the river's bank. Boats have played an important role in God's plan of salvation through the centuries. Genesis chapter 6 tells us of Noah's enormous ark, 450 feet long, 45 feet high, and 75 feet wide, which God used to save eight members of the human race during the flood that overwhelmed the world. Exodus chapter 2 describes a much smaller boat, actually no more than a reed basket covered with pitch to make it waterproof. But it played an important role in saving the life of baby Moses, whom God used as an adult to bind together a ragtag group of people into the nation of Israel. And out of this nation came Jesus, the Messiah and Savior. Jesus himself is also compared with a boat. In his first epistle, Peter reminds his readers of the ark that saved eight people from the flood. Then he says, there is also an anti-type which now saves us, namely baptism, nor the removal of the filth of the flesh, that is, not the literal physical baptism, but the answer of a good conscience towards God. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 21. We are baptized, literally put or placed, into Christ at the time of our salvation. He becomes our boat, just as the ark saved Noah and his family from the wrath of the flood and the basket boat saved Moses from certain death in the Nile. So Christ offers us a place of safety from the wrath that God will someday pour out on sin. Romans chapter 5 verses 9 to 10 and Revelation chapter 6 verse 17. The question you need to ask yourself is, am I in the boat or am I in the water? Have you received Christ as your savior? Will you be saved from God's wrath to come because you are safely in Christ Jesus? Only Jesus can keep you afloat when troubled waters come. Trust Him as your Savior and begin to enjoy new life in God's Ark of Salvation. When the water threatens to overwhelm you, the only safe place is in the boat. Amen.